the formatting in account schedules is fairly basic. Um, <clears throat> so you can insert lines, you can make things bold here, you can indent, um, you can italicize and underline. That's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> so there's another way where you can export the, the output of this into Excel and build like a template that references your output and then formats it into something nicer. Um, so let's, let's give that a go. Uh, let me see if this is a good one to run. Okay, so um, I'm going to export this first. Basically, the, the first step is to create a template. And then after that, every time you basically have your template set up, and then the next time you run it, you're just updating the data in the template. So that most of the work is this first step that you do uh, one time. So we'll, we'll run the report, go to Actions, Excel, Export to Excel, and then create a new document. All right. I'm just gonna save this as something like income state template. The big thing is you're gonna leave everything in here as is. So this is this is going to be the sheet that gets updated every time. So maybe next month it'll be February, March, April, May, or, you know, um, whatever it is that you're changing, um, for this particular report, you wouldn't want to edit the report. Um, or if you do edit the report, you'll have to update this template because we're going to be referencing the cell data as it is for every row and column. So the general format of the report would need to stay the same, no new rows, no new columns but you can update the data that's in it. And that's the main thing. You're running it for different time periods. So what I'll, what I usually do is save it as a template and then make a copy of it. And then you might call this one, um, output, or this is the one you'll want to print. Um, so here I can say, um, Give it a name. Um, and then maybe it's uh, April. And uh, what we can do is we can get rid of all this. We can here, and then here's where we make references. So we'll we'll say equals this, or you can even make this like a dynamic function. Um, This could be like, um, instead of, I guess if you, if you want to get fancy, you could have like an input page and you can say start date. Um, because in some reports, this might be current month, prior month, uh, and whatnot. And BC, that's one way to handle months is just a rolling, a rolling, um, current month, prior month. So these headers don't really mean much. Um, so you could say, let's just imagine that it was current month, current period minus one, current period minus two, current period minus three here instead of January. So we would say um, input start date is uh, January or uh,
this is where you, where you might get creative uh, on things. Um, and then here is where we'll, um, I'm on the wrong tab. So this is the raw data. I, uh, <clears throat> I did this a little backwards. So we'll put this on the output here. This is Jan. Okay, so this we don't want to touch. Uh, so the output is we're going to reference the report here. And just copy the reference down. Um, These could either be formulas. You could do like a, a check check formula. So let's say we <clears throat> use actual formulas in here, and then column don't need that the formatting here so this could be like a control total and a difference this might be the natural results save this down as a reference to make sure that your account schedule doesn't have any uh, formulas and error, missing accounts or default dimensions and things. Um, so we can get fancy underlying or put a box around it with some shading. Uh, this might be double underline bolded. Um, so uh, that's one thing there. Maybe there's a budget. Let's just pretend that the uh, there's a, uh, a budget column, a variance column. Okay, 
So this would have been a populated, um, if you have your budgets loaded into BC, it would have been already populated in the report, or you can reference another Excel spreadsheet. Um, but now you can do like conditional formatting is if, uh, um, if it's greater than, um, uh, they're all 500, but let's just say, then fills it with the formula. Oop, that's not a Uh, so you can now is when you can start getting fancy conditional formatting, uh, setting print areas. Um, so you set this as the print area. And then maybe a logo inserted here. Um, in, uh, <clears throat> shading different areas with colors, conditional formattings, uh, links to other files, like other data files, it, it, basically anything you can't do in Excel. But the main thing to take away is you're exporting the raw data here and then referencing those calculations in uh, your spreadsheet. So um, now you've got a template. <clears throat> so this is the hard part, getting your template set up. And then let's say uh, um, you basically re run it again, you run the report again the next month. Okay. Um, now what you do is actions, Excel, uh, export to Excel and update a copy of an existing document. So you'll choose the template. And this could be, uh, you could add multiple sheets to one work workbook. So um, as long as you keep the name, the tab names, um, something noticeable, uh, and you know which tabs update, you can put all of your um, reports into one workbook. That way you can print them all at once, update them with the same dates. Uh, it'll give you, it'll tell you which sheet you want to update. So in this case, we're gonna update this one. This is, uh, this is the formatted one. This is the unformatted one. Okay, so it's got, well, um, I'm going to make a change to the data so it makes, uh, you could see it a little bit um, more obviously. But basically what happened is this, these values were updated with the same template. Um, Let's go ahead and do the same thing. So it's 67,000 a month. Let's change this to uh, last year. Maybe a little more data somewhere. Okay, we'll go with this. Um, we'll do the same thing. Actions, Excel, export to Excel. And now it's changed. Um, and uh, essentially this data changed and now your formatting is already set. So you don't need to change anything other than maybe the start dates, some sort of dynamic inputs, usually dates um, that, that you would change and then update the report. Um, just a couple of other things people do. You can add rows, you can insert as many rows or, or columns even in between um, on this page. Because the cell, once you link the cell and copy it over, it'll always reference the right point in here. So you can be as, you can add as much as you want in here. So let's say we wanted to break up the formatting a little bit. I 
add maybe dollar signs. So you can add <clears throat> some percentages in here. Or percentages this way, so you know you can do um, And from there, it's it's just be as creative as you want. 